Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm working on in conjunction with my FP Red setup. So when I go to put my FP Red setup on, I also want to put a ported intake manifold on. So this is just one of the extra things I've been working on before I actually put the turbo on. So I want to do it all at one time. So I picked up an extra intake and I started porting it. So the I, I took some measurements and I already did one port so I don't have a before and after on the number one runner here but I did take some pre-measurements on runner number two here and I also took a measurement on the opening for the throttle body and that measured 60 millimeter actually it was like 60 millimeters 60.3 millimeters so I'll just say 60 millimeters um, when I put the FP red on I'm also going to put on the intake manifold and a 65 millimeter throttle body so I figure the factory throttle body it's got a hundred thousand miles on it it probably has some leaking seals so while I have the seals replaced in the throttle body I also want to have it ported out so I'm going to port this out to 65 millimeters to match the throttle body and then I'll also have the throttle body on there too and I'll also port match these runners to the gasket so I've already marked on the on the uh, manifold here where I need to port and I took some measurements of this port and this port here and I'll show those to you here real quick so just real quickly here you can see I got runner number one and runner number two obviously runner one runner two just to make it simple and I have no previous numbers for runner number one okay so, um, however, post numbers are the height, and the way I did this, actually, I'll show you, is I went in about one inch on the runner, on this one, and on this one, that mark might, yeah, you can see it there, but I went in one inch here, and I took a measurement, um, I did um, a vertical measurement, okay, and then I did a width measurement, and then I also did an entry measurement, so I actually measured it right at the entry here, or actually on the intake, this would be the exit point of the of the air, but we'll just call this the entry. So I took a measurement here, and then I took a measurement from the floor here up to the ceiling. So what I got here is my height was 29.53, and that was at one inch into the manifold. My width at one inch was 58.4 millimeters, and at the entry I had 57.32 and a height of 30. So you can kind of see right at the entrance of the port, it went up, I gained about half a millimeter from between one inch in, and the width actually went down about one millimeter. So there's a little bit of taper on the sides from one inch in to the entry point so um, I can probably you know get that extra one millimeter on each side if I really wanted to I'm not I'm not really going to worry about it so but it'll actually kind of taper in a little bit so the runner number two here is my previous numbers my height at one inch in is 27.84 so you can see that's about a millimeter, almost two millimeters less at one inch in between the non-ported runner and the ported runner. Now, of course, you know, each one of these runners might not be the same, um, but um, that's why I got the previous on runner number two here. And the width, the side to side, was 57.22. So between the non-ported and the ported, I picked up about eight tenths of a millimeter not a lot so you can see I didn't really you know go crazy and then the entry was 56.8 on the width and 28 on the height so you can see it's about two millimeters difference on the height and you can actually see that where that scribe line is on the runner so you know might not be a full two millimeters there but then again it might not be so and 56 and 57 so I picked up about a millimeter on the width between um, the ported and the non-ported runner
Now just to show you the tool I use, it's just a Harbor Freight um, caliper. I think it's like $8 or something made by Pittsburgh. So when I did the entry port, um, when I did the entry measurement, I just used the, um, the caliper here. But to go in an inch, I actually had to use a telescoping, um, a telescoping gauge. And I'll show you how I did that here real quick. So here's my set of telescoping gauges. They are made by Mitutoyo. So feel free to look those up. I haven't even bothered looking them up. But uh, it's an older set. But um, so I just uh, took this. And the way these work is, is you stick them in and these will move in and out. And then when you get it in place, you turn the knob here at the bottom and then that locks these in place. Then what you do is you use your dial caliper and then you can measure that distance. So I'll show you how this works real quick. So I go in to my one inch mark and I try to make sure it's straight up and down vertical in the port. Okay. You can see I'm about one inch and then what I'll do is I'll just turn that to lock it and then that locks those fingers in place. Then to measure it, quite simple. Of course doing it with the camera, I gotta use one hand for the camera, but you can see here that you just measure then the distance with that and that gets you your number. So that's how I measured that one inch in and of course I measured it on this number two runner as well so that way I can have a before and after and I guess what I'll try to do is I'll just try to make them all the same in a way. I mean, I probably won't be able to get them all the same, but that's how I'm uh, doing the measuring. And um, I just wanted to also show you the extra intake manifold I had, and I'm going to port this out. <clears throat> so that's all I wanted to show you for this video. Um, on the next video, I'll show you um, me actually porting this intake out. So I ordered... Um, I ordered uh, some extra um, flapper wheels so I could port this and some, uh, I do have enough sanding rolls so I can sand this out, but um, there's my, uh, there's my aluminum cutting bit. So of course, just like before, you know, I use my, uh, my, I guess, a uh, electric long safety die grinder from Harbor Freight and, um, no, put the bit in there. This takes out um, a lot of metal. So this will produce chips, a lot of chips. So um, my desk is covered and it's kind of hard to see, but there are a, um, a ton of chips down in there. So down in that runner. So of course, after you port this intake, you're going to have to completely scrub it out, which I also do have um, some scrub brushes. Uh, for cleaning engines that I can put down in there. So next video, I'll actually show you guys me porting the runners. Uh, but until then, stay tuned and um, feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks guys.